Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree, and uh, today I'm doing something different. This is sort of a sort of a food topic, but it's more of a beverage topic, and it's um, beer versus liquor versus wine. So you basically have three, um, well, relatively three easy to categorize forms of alcoholic beverages. Obviously, there's more than that, but these are the three most popular ones. So beer pretty much covers anything that's, you know, beer. This would be your lagers and um, your hops and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm i not against trying a craft beer. I have dabbled, but I'm pretty loyal to Bud Light, and um, I've just always drank Bud Light. I have tried other other beers, uh, but Bud Light's been been my go-to beer. Beer for me is sort of a casual drink. You know, it's you're gonna sit down and watch a football game. You're gonna have some pizza and have a beer. You know, or you know, it's it's uh, Independence Day and you're gonna have a barbecue and you're gonna have a glass of beer. You know, or you just got home from a really long shitty ass day at work and you got to kick your feet up take your socks off, kick back, watch a fucking horror movie and sip on a beer. That's that's when beer tends to be the best. Now, there beer is also a social drink. So another good time to drink a beer is you're at the bar, you know, and you just want to sit at the bar and have a conversation with the bartender and uh, the people in your immediate left and right vicinity. So you have you you sip on your beer while they sip on their drink of choice, and you know maybe you throw some darts, maybe you play some pool, or video poker if you're at the casino, what have you. So beer tends to be more of a casual or social drink. Liquor falls under multiple categories. You've got vodkas, you've got rums, you've got spirits, you've got just all kinds of shit. Um, this is hard liquor. This tends to be saved more for special occasions like parties, um, like, you know, ragers or, you know, maybe it's like, you know, a wedding party or um, maybe it's a graduation, you know, special occasions. And uh, liquor tends to be more of a, or New Year's Eve, as we just went through, Liquor tends to be more of a, more of a social drink uh, or a celebratory drink. So this is like a, um, you know, uh, your buddy just graduated and he invited you to his graduation. Y'all get together at the, at the restaurant or his house or the bar or whatever for, you know, for a night out. You're going to probably have in celebration, you're going to have a shot of vodka or rum or fucking you know whiskey or whatever the fuck it is you know <laughs> liquor especially whiskey and rum um are also good medicinal drinks uh they're not technically medicine but they can be used for such um the common ailments that they can be used to treat would be like the common cold you know you just you feel miserable you drink you know a shot of whiskey or insomnia you fucking, you've been up for three days in a row and you're just dead ass tired and you can't shut your brain off and you just want to fucking sleep. So you down two or three shots of rum and you pass the fuck out. You know what I mean? So that's, that's when you tend to, uh, tend to go for a liquor, a hard liquor, or a spirit. Wine and consequently, uh, champagne, which is just sparkling wine, um, or fancy wine. Wine tends to be more um, special occasions, but like um, subtle, okay, subtle and or uh, like major events. But like wine is more like um, when you're gonna have a glass of wine. Uh, you know, it's a Friday night, and you're hanging out with your friends. And you're getting ready to sit down and have a have a nice dinner, you know, maybe 
some uh, maybe a good t-bone steak some mashed potatoes and gravy some corn and green beans on the side you can have a glass of wine wine is also a good um, alcohol for getting frisky so it's a good mood drink you know you you know you and your paramour sit down and have a glass of wine each and you know get ready to get naked in front of each other and do the things that you do when you're naked you know um wine is also a religious it's used in religious ceremonies like uh you know the catholic church uses wine for religious ceremonies like the eucharist every sunday um and things like that uh champagne is kind of a, a also a celebratory drink but it's like you know it's sort of like the introductory drink it's like you have a, you, you know, you just got a big promotion at work or your partner just proposed or you just proposed or whatever. Um, you pop a bottle of champagne, you have a glass of champagne and then, you know, you're good or, you know, you want to upgrade, you, you, you move on to, you know, some shots and maybe a glass of wine and or, you know, maybe a couple of beers to chase it down. Um, now, you throw all this out the window if you happen to be an alcoholic because then it's just, you, you drink whatever the fuck you can get your hands on at that point. Uh, I used to be an alcoholic. Not anymore. Um, but, you know, fortunately for me. Um, um for me personally, for me personally, um, if I'm going to drink beer, my go-to is Bud Light. Um, unless I'm at a place where I don't have a choice, I'll drink what is available. Or if I happen to be like on a road trip or on vacation or something, I'll try the local, you know, brew, uh, micro brew, just to try it out. But for the most part, I'm pretty loyal to Bud Light, and I have been my whole life. Uh, my liquor of choice is, I have two. Um, my go-to, my favorite drink, is um, Captain Morgan Spiced Rum. Uh, my second favorite drink is uh, Parrot Bay Coconut Rum. And my favorite mixed drink is a Coke and rum, obviously. So I'm good either way. And it's Coke and rum. It's not RC Cola and rum. It's not Pepsi and rum. It has to be Coca-Cola or don't even fucking bother. <coughs> I will be honest. I have not tried a lot of wines. Um... Maybe like four or five different varieties. I do have a preferred wine. My go-to wine is, you know, I'm a poor person, obviously. Look at me. Uh, my go-to wine is the $7 bottle of Barefoot Rosé. You can get at Walmart uh, sometimes. For some godforsaken reason, either nobody stocks the Rosé or it's always fucking sold out. Um, in which case I'll go to the pink Moscata as my fallback, but my go-to wine is the barefoot rosé. I'm not a rich person. I'm not a fancy person. I will never, you'll never see me at a wine tasting because I want to drink that shit. I'm not going to fucking do that fancy pants hipster bullshit that they do. I don't fucking, that ain't me. I ain't that person. Um, that being said, I try to keep my alcoholic beverages to a bare minimum. Like three, maybe four alcoholic drinks total in a year. I try to I try to keep away from it as much as fucking possible. So if I'm gonna have a shot of rum, I'm gonna have a shot of rum, nothing else, 
for three or four months. If I'm going to have beer, I'm going to have a beer. And again, I'm not going to have any other alcohol for a good while. And um, a bottle of wine can last me months. You know, months, months, months. Assuming nobody fucking touches it. You know. Like if I have company or whatever. Um, so, I'm not a big drinker, but when I do drink, that's what I drink. Stay cool.